All right, so we are doing lactate testing today, uh, which I'll let Natasha explain in full. But basically it's a test that you can't fake. So it's just gonna tell me where I'm at and utilizing fats versus carbs and my fitness level from a blood lactate perspective. Um, also based off of what we learned yesterday about my weight loss on the scale, I've doubled my water. Um, and being that we're doing true testing today, I also have hydration system on the bike so I can just easily grab this while I'm pedaling um, in the aero position. I was 219.6 today. I think yesterday I was 220 something, something, something. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about this. I haven't done like true testing like this since college, uh, which is a VO2 max back in college that I did for soccer. And then I did a lot of VO2 max testing on other people uh, for my exercise science degree while I was in college as well. So it's been a while, like 15 years or so. Uh, so I'm excited to get back to it. Uh, so we're going to test and we're going to see where his uh, heart rate perceived effort and power is at two. And then uh, we're going to continue to ramp up every three to four minutes on the step ups. And at the end of every three minute segment, we are going to basically prick his finger and we're going to get a blood sample from this lactate meter and just to see where his lactate is at those different power numbers and heart rate numbers. We'll keep doing that to find where his anaerobic threshold is. and. Um, that is where his body is producing too much lactate for him to utilize his fuel and to clear. And so we'll essentially be able to create training zones from those numbers. Um, and yeah, so just for me, it's affirming where I think the power numbers are. And then the data points will tell us where he needs to do the majority of his training, which he's doing about 80 to 90% of his training aerobically, still to build up a really strong base. So it's that number where we get about two to 2.5 milliliters. We're gonna stay under that heart rate, stay under that power. And then his threshold, which typically it's LT2 and ties up typically with BT2, uh, is the number uh, that we're going to create our zones from and a lot of the times keep our training underneath that number on these special occasions we're looking to go over it to increase lactate clearance, uh, increase VO2 max, except bleeding pretty good. There we go. There we go. We got a reading. Look at my heart rate. Is that real? I see, yeah, it's pumping. Keep going. 18 seconds. Uh. Yeah, that's what I got. 10 seconds, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. 
it's for sure not your heart rate. It's weird that they did that. We had estimated your FTP to like 245 right now and not what we're working with. I think it's going to go up. But the lactate meter at 4.0 milliliter was at that um, 240, 245 exactly. So we're pretty much spot on. You now stabilized here. So it might have even stabilized at 260 again, but this was contaminated and contaminated. And so to be on the safe side and what aligns with what you got to at the end, we could probably up your FTP to like 255. Okay. And that's going to be in line with around 160 heart rate okay. as your threshold. Okay. So essentially anytime we're working just under, we do a lot of workouts just under threshold. Yeah. You want to stay in that 155 to 160 range. Okay. And in today's case right now, you'd be pushing about 250 watts versus okay. the 245, which we've just raised to. So everything that we've done so far, way past this week, like the first new workout, my heart rate's always been higher. Just because I think I just put a lot of internal pressure on myself to perform. And also it's just like the, I don't want to say fear, but for lack of a better word, fear of the unknown. One, if you can actually do it, and what it's, and two, what it's gonna feel like when you get there. So like now that I've done this, I know what it feels like. And it honestly wasn't terrible. Um, so when we do the next one, I'm pretty confident that not just because if we have like a two week gap in time, I'll improve, but I'll also go into it calmer because I know what to expect. So and I think that's also one of the differences between Dom and I, just like our personality types. Um, and he was telling Natasha this yesterday, but like oftentimes for all the workouts that we do together, and it's not out of laziness on his part at all, but like he's expecting me to supply the info. So like with me, I, I initially, when we first started working together, I was reviewing the workouts the night before, but I think honestly that was messing with my sleep. So now, as soon as I get up in the morning, I look out the workout for that day and I start to like get in my mind like what's expected. But then oftentimes, like for example, the pool workouts, Dom will get to the pool, we'll get to the pool, and he'll be like, all right, what are we doing today? You know, so he has that sense of calmness because he just doesn't know, which is okay. You know, again, that's just difference in personality types. Um, but to this point as well, like his heart rate has consistently been better than mine. Um, some of that is just his fitness level. And two, I think it's also how we approach these workouts. Like I just get super excited. So it's just something I'll have to work on because ultimately this is gonna lead up to a race and I can't have my heart rate at 140 before I even jump on the water, you know? So I gotta like, train myself with this stuff. Ready? Ready as I'll ever be.